Coral Triangle is the most biodiverse marine ecosystem in the world. It stretches for almost 1.6 billion acres, encompassing the oceans of Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, East Timor, Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands. As well as having by far the world's largest number of coral and reef fish species, the Coral Triangle is also home to over 120 million human beings, many of whom depend directly on its natural resources. Kalau saya boleh tanya, uh, ibu siapa namanya? Anik, Anik Kasim. Anik Kasim. Dan boleh saya tanya berapa umur ibu? Tidak, 50. Tidak sampai 50. Terus uh, berapa lama ibu tinggal di sini, di, di, di kapal? Di kapal eh, setengah tahun. Setengah tahun. Yeah. Kalau misalnya ibu tidak harus cari di sini ikan, kalau misalnya sudah ada uang, senang tinggal di, di sana, di kampung, apa di perahu? Tinggal di laut senang. Senang? Iya. Yeah. Senang di laut? Iya, yeah, senang di laut. No one knows exactly how many Bazo are still living at sea, but the numbers are certainly dwindling. In fact, this is probably the last generation in which you'll find any individual spending their entire lives at sea. There are a number of reasons why this is happening. The governments of the Coral Triangle region have been implementing a forced settlement policy whereby many Bajau are now legally required to move into settled stilt communities, such as this one in Torosi Ajay. But many Bajau are also moving ashore out of economic necessity, as environmental degradation in the region continues, it's increasingly difficult for the Bajau to sustain themselves at sea. <laughs> I initially came out to Indonesia in order to explore the potential of incorporating some of the Bajau's indigenous knowledge of the ocean into marine conservation strategies. But the reality is that the Bajau, as much as anybody, are now responsible for a lot of the destructive fishing that's taking place in the Coral Triangle region. 
many Bajau are making homemade explosives in order to bomb reefs and increase their catches, as well as the use of cyanide for the live fish trade. Fish are caught off the coast of Sulawesi. They're then shipped alive to Bali, where they're held in storage factories before being sent on to Hong Kong, where there's a market estimated at over 1 billion US dollars.
personally, I feel as though in order to enact a really sustainable and meaningful conservation program for the Coral Triangle region, we need to empower groups such as the Bajau to look after and curate their own environments.